tomorrow. But let's uh, talk more sports on the program and uh, tell you that two Nigerian arm wrestlers have qualified to represent Africa at the 2023 World Combat Sports Games scheduled to hold in uh, uh, from the 21st to the 30th of October in Riyadh. That's the capital of Saudi Arabia. Uh, the two arm wrestlers, um, Mausi Zanu and Olabisi Uyewusi, qualified after emerging as champions in their categories at the recently concluded 12th African Arm Wrestling Championships held in Ghana. Team Nigeria finished third um, at the African Championship with 10 gold, 9 silver, 14 bronze behind host Ghana and Egypt. 15 arm wrestlers also qualified to represent Nigeria at the 13th All-African Games, which will hold next year in Ghana. Interesting. Uh, well, I've got the president of the Nigeria Arm Wrestling Federation, Jackson, um, on the show this evening. So also um, um, an athlete is also joining the program live this evening. Um, let me start with you, Jackson. Uh, 15 arm wrestlers qualifying for the All Africa Games and most importantly, uh, two athletes for the world competition. Um, arm wrestling only started a few years ago in Nigeria. I remember when uh, you came on board with this whole uh, um, drive. I mean, would you say the sport has developed faster than you expected it to? Uh, thank you, uh, Romis. Actually, um, the sport has really developed uh, faster. Uh, like uh, what we did last year, we did our 10th year anniversary of, uh, of official arm wrestling in Nigeria. And uh, between that time and today from 2012, uh, we have done a lot of um, stride. Uh, which is accumulated even to what we are talking about uh, right now. Having two of our athletes who's going to be representing both Nigeria and Africa at the World uh, Combat Games come October in Saudi Arabia. Mm. All right, um, I've got an athlete um, in the studio. What's your name? Mausi Zanu. Oh, Mausi Zanu. I mean, you fought hard to secure a place um, with the play of battle against the Ghanaian rival. What was the experience like for you? Mm. Like, it was great. Like, it was unexpected. Like, I don't... It is God doing. Mm. So happy. Okay, you know, when athletes talk about God, I mean, I have my reservation. <laughs> I, I, I love God too, you know, but I yes. mean, God did not help you train. God yes. was not there when you were training. What was your training routine like? Mm. Like, my training routine, like, giving it time, training other, mm. agility, endurance. And so on. Okay, now, uh, Jackson, two athletes to represent Nigeria at the World Championship. What, what, what are your chances, realistically? I mean, um, Africa, it is what it is, you know. Yeah. Um, it seems Nigeria uh, is dominating the, 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 the African front in arm wrestling. But at the global stage, what are your chances, really? Uh, as, far, as far the last count in the world ranking, uh, we are 22nd in the world. Mm. And uh, but with what we're having, the, the, this coming um, Saudi Arabia thing, we have 10 uh, arm wrestlers coming from, from Africa, mm -hmm. uh, which we have uh, BCO Yewusi uh, in the 85 kg and Mao Sizanu in the uh, 55 kg. And uh, the chances are well, it's just going to be like a continental thing that all the five continents is going to come together in the World Combat Game. So each of the continents needs to produce their best. Mm -hmm. Two of them are the um, ultimate champions in their weight categories in Africa. So I can say um, in a ratio of 70%, seven, that probably that because we need to look at the videos and the strength of the other, other, other contenders mm -hmm. from the other regions. But from, from what I've seen in Accra, uh, especially about Zani, it was like um, a playoff that we had a sudden death. Mm -hmm. She had a gold medal in the left hand and they had a bronze medal in the right hand. Why the Ghanaian lady had a gold medal in the right, and she too had a bronze medal in the, le in the left. So it was like each of them having one, one gold, one, 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 mm -hmm. one bronze. So we need to pick the best, the best of them. And fortunately, and that was what happened. It was, it, it was a, a sudden that we had to win by 2-1. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was just a climax of the championship. All right. Yeah. Biblically, I mean, we're told that women are the weaker vessels. I mean, but it, it, it's amazing to see women really are showing some level of strength. Uh, what would you say um, uh, was, was the drive or the push for you to go into arm wrestling as a sport? <laughs> <laughs> what motivated this? What motivated me was, like, the sport I was doing before. Mm. Like, it was all of, 
I know I can do it if I reach there. Because mm -hmm. the kind of sport I'm doing gives me the courage and the endurance to face any other sport. What sport is that? Wrestling. Okay. Okay. You are a wrestler. Yes, sir. And then um, from wrestling to arm wrestling. Oh, yes, you still do, do both. You yes. Do both. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. I was even a Lagos State athlete. <laughs> <laughs> now I see, I see where, where, the, where the gym guys are coming from. from. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Interesting one. Oh, oh, okay, um, we've had this conversation before, Jackson, yes. where we talked about uh, uh, the level of involvement from government as far as arm wrestling is concerned. There's been a lot of you know, private um, um, initiative, uh, private funding, private assistance. How well... Is arm wrestling being recognized by the Sport Commission across the states, uh, by the Sport Ministry in Nigeria? Is arm wrestling being recognized by these bodies that are supposed to give uh, the Federation that level of support? Well, if it permits me, I will say, I want to say a big thank you to TBC because you've been part of our journey for the past 10 years. And I can tell you that we are where we are today with the support uh, of the press, especially you. It's not because I'm in your studio, but I want to say thank you to um, our friends in the media. Uh, secondly, uh, the support from the federal government is not really there for now. Uh, we tried all our best last year to meet with the Minister of Sports, and uh, he congratulated us when we won the African Championship in Lagos mm -hmm. last year. But from the Ministry of Sports, Youth and Sports, right now, we don't have anything. But the Nigerian Olympic Committee, is solely behind us, and they're okay. giving all the support that we need. And okay. that was why we were able to get 15 athletes to all African Games next year. All right, uh, BC is live on the program now. She's, all, she's one of the athletes that will be representing Nigeria at the World Games. Uh, talk to me about your journey to this point, BC. It was a tough one. Mm. I started doing some wrestling last year. I was, I am an handballer. Okay. Simply handball. Okay. So. Coming to, the coach told me, BC, you can do this. Mm. You have the strength. I should give it a shot. You must have been showing a lot of strength, strength on the handball court. Yes. Okay. So he said, you can do this. I should give it a shot. And I did. And last one, I won a bronze medal. The last year of African champion in Lagos, I won a bronze medal. Mm. Then coming to this one, thank God I won two gold medals. Okay. I mean, Jackson, when you take a look at this, this um, award, I mean, you, you, you would think uh, women who participate in arm wrestling, she'll be muscular. BC yeah. isn't muscular. She doesn't look like one who, who goes to the gym yeah. that often. I mean, uh, the World Games is just around the corner. Yeah. What are your preparations like for that? Oh, we are planning to go for a training tour. Mm. I don't know where. Maybe the president will tell us. <laughs> we are planning to go for a training tour. And also, the coach has been working very hard on us to, mm. for us to come victorious there. Mm -hmm. So what was your experience like in Ghana at the um, African Championship? At first, I was, I, I didn't believe in myself. Let mm. me tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. But with the work coach, the coach encouraged me, BC, you can do this. And he trained me very well since last year. Up to that, of course. Mm -hmm. And he believed in me. Mm -hmm. So going to Ghana was just something God has planned. I'll take it like that. Okay, seeing all the arm wrestlers love God God's so much. much. <laughs> and they talk about God uh, as far as uh, <laughs> their, their, their events um, are concerned. Um, he talked about um, the ranking. Uh, this will be my last question for you. He talked about the ranking. What's your current ranking at the moment? And uh, how far do you think you can go in this sport? In Africa, I think in my category, I think I'm the first now in Africa. Number one. Number, Number one. one. Number one, yes. Okay. So that gives hope of a, media, of a possible podium finish at the World Stage. Yes, that's it. Absolutely. Jackson, thank you for coming. Uh, BC, uh, the other lady, uh, Mousy, thank you all for coming and thank you for the good job you're doing in representing Nigeria.